Hello there everyone, I'm Tohai here, teaching you how to turn ascension into your everyday lifestyle. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share, and press the notification button so you can definitely get uh, updates on new videos that are coming out. So today we're going to be talking about depression. Today, I am depressed. Um, and with depression, there's a, a lot of different ways people can express depression. Me, I have to continuously uh, help other people, even when I'm dealing with my depression. And I've learned to like let the depression come and flow out. A lot of times the depression comes and we want to hold on to it. And we particularly hold on to it in our heart chakra. And when you hold on to depression at the heart chakra, that's when you get stuck in the past and you really start reanalyzing relationships over and over and over again. And the root cause of my depression today is based off of a, a, a friend relationship that I have that, uh, you know, is evolving. And it's, it's one of those things where not everyone who is experiencing depression is going to experience depression like on their lows. Some people are going to experience it like me where we're just going to keep going through it. Other times, you know, depression can be one of those things that puts people in a loop and that's why they're disassociated with the day. That's a very common theme, especially for me. If I get, if I let that energy get absorbed into my system today, I'm going to be stuck in mental loops. I won't be able to help the people that need my help today. So these are these like techniques that I've I've learned while being depressed. And I, as I'm recording a depression course right now, it's, I guess, the cosmos teaching me again, like, hey, here's your reminder of why you are depressed and what you've done when you are depressed so you can give it to the people who need it. You got to first understand that it's an emotion. You can choose to hold on to that emotion or you can choose to just observe it and let it flow through you like the element of water. If you decide to hold on to the depression, that's what's going to bring you down. If you choose to acknowledge, okay, I am feeling depressed and I'm not going to let it go into my subconscious or into my shadow by suppressing it. I'm going to acknowledge it. That's the first most critical step of it all is acknowledging that you are experiencing depression. When you're experiencing depression, you acknowledge it, you don't give it the opportunity to hide. And when it cannot hide, you can then be more proactive about your healing. This is why a lot of times when people come to see me for healing practices, I tell them, you're half of the medicine. The energy work can go so far. Now for a person who doesn't catch themselves and they apply energy work to themselves, it's not going to be as powerful as someone who is saying, I, I am experiencing depression. I acknowledge that depression is here. And then taking alchemy into healing yourself. So today, I will be applying NeuroCode 3 on myself, which is light of the mind, because depression stems from the mind. And it stems for your solar plexus. And I don't want myself to get stuck in my head. So I'm going to keep clearing out my mind with light as much as possible. And I'm going to then let that take me to the next step. This is a really quick tip for dealing with depression starting off is always acknowledge it. Always acknowledge it. Once you acknowledge it, that's half of the alchemy. Your consciousness is alchemy. So the moment you acknowledge it and you don't push it away, you become proactive and now you have that alchemy frequency in your hand and you're saying, huh, depression, huh, light of the mind, Doosh. and you can overcome a lot of very simple issues that happen in everyday life. I'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Sending you tons of love.